okay. Shut it! Someone check the perimeter! See to those barricades and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. Dress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody, get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some, Some survived. survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus. The green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting.
on the SHD emergency channel. Flash, priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. To get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I always pay my debts. Eleanor? Your mom sent us to bring you home. Are you hurt? Who, who are you? What's going on? She's in shock. I'll bring her down when she's fit to move. Let's meet at the theater later. It's worse than ever, Odessa. We're barely holding things together. What am I supposed to do? Help us! I am helping. I am helping. Just not the way you want me to. We need you out there again. Your leg wouldn't stop you. It's not about that. I know it isn't. But if we fail... All right! All right. We could probably spare some people. I'll be outside. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. Last radio contact with Espinoza came from a parking garage close to the Shade Node. Isaac has the location. Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Agent Vital Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. 
Look, there was nothing you could have done for Espinoza. That fucking hyena was toying with us. I hope she suffered a bit before you finished her off. Anyway, thanks to you, we're an important step closer to getting the Shade Network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around. Looks like Isaac's back up and running. Nice. Meet me back at the White House. I've got some new intel I want to share with you and Manny. Agent, thanks to your hard work, we've been able to make some critical upgrades to the base of operations. We've restored access to the city's CCTV cameras and updated our maps of DC in the Situation Room. The mess hall has proper food prep and cooking equipment, with comfortable places to sit and have a hot meal. Giving the staff a place to relax has boosted morale. We're getting an influx of food, water, and medical supplies. Some of these will remain here to create a stockpile. And the surplus will be redistributed to civilians in need. It's hard to believe we have a surplus of anything right now. The White House is coming back to life. Keep up the good work. If I can't get more pieces from the toy store, I'm not gonna be able to finish my fucking map. All right, Manny. Jeez. While the sheriff here was busy waking up Isaac, I kicked in a few doors. Did you learn anything? Some new cuss words. Anything useful? I know where we can find out where the cure was sent. The capital? We can't get past those defenses. Not yet. But once we reconnect to our satellite network and get the main shade node online, we should be back at full strength. Then we'll be ready. Okay, well in the meantime, we have intel President Ellen survived the crash. He's being held by one of the factions. Locating him should be a priority. Oh, fuck that. There could be another major outbreak anytime soon. We don't need some politician. We need that cure. We might need him to access it. It'll be somewhere secure. All right. Let's see what we can do. I don't know whether to be flattered or offended, Manny. Hey, sugar. It's good to see you. You know you've done something unthinkable. You've given us hope. I think Kelso and I both lost sight of how important it is. I hate to ask more of you when you've already done so much, but if you find yourself in the vicinity of the police headquarters over on Indiana Avenue, I could use your help with a personal matter. It's nothing urgent, but it would mean a lot to me. Mortar attack. Chemical. Seven survivors. Yes, Manny. Seven total. The sheriff just came in. Can you get these people to safety? I'm gonna go kill the bastards that did this. You're safe now. I promise. The attack came from Jefferson Plaza. You know what to do. Hey! Kill them all. Incapacitating target! Contacts. Great work. Wilson's unit is out of action, and you've crippled True Sun's chemical warfare efforts. Also, Kelso just reported in to confirm the survivors from the castle settlement have safely reached the rooftop settlement. There's no one doing what happened to them, but at least you've made sure it won't happen to anyone else. If we want to get Isaac back online across the country, we need to reconnect the local system to the satellite network. We should be able to do that at the NOAA headquarters building. Get to the control room. I can walk you through the process from there. All right, this will extract the transmitter from the module and connect it to the rest of the facility. Then we can link up with the division satellites.
satellite network is back online. I'll send a team to secure the transmitter for safekeeping. Good work, Agent. We've made some incredible improvements lately. The White House hasn't felt the secure since the lockdown. The basement has been converted into a workshop, fully equipped with drills, saws, and metal working tools. The mechanics and crafters are using the tools to construct new gear. Recovered munitions, parts, and tools are available to equip the agents with better gear and weapons. We'll need to recruit some staff to organize the growing armory. The Shade Network is almost fully operational. I'm hopeful we can reconnect to the National Network. The White House is starting to feel like a beacon of hope, instead of a reminder of how far we've fallen. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting for. Good to meet you. Henry Hayes. Look, I sympathize, Henry. But we have our own problems, and they are big problems. Maybe we can help. I know you need people. Keep telling me you can't spare anyone. Not right now, but if you guys can take some pressure off of us. We are already doing what we can. Are you? Because outside those walls, it's perdition. We let our guard down just for a second and it's over. All of this, whatever you're doing out there, we're not feeling it in here. Well, Sheriff. I hope you're ready for some extra work. The wreck. Some the hyena defector has alerted us that they recovered something from the wreckage of Air Force One. The hyenas have been keeping in the vault at the World Bank. Whatever they stole must be important if they're going to this much trouble. Our informant tells us that one of the hyenas should have the access codes to the vault. I need you to get in, get the codes, open the vault, and get back what they stole. Authentication successful. Access granted. Alarm! Fucking division got into the vault! It's cool. We moved the president. He's tucked away nice and cozy upstairs. Holy shit. They pulled the president out of the wreckage. Agent, you've got a new assignment. Find out where the president is being held and get him back. Sink Isaac with a bank security system. There should be a data center near the vault. You don't understand. I've got the goddamn division breathing down my neck. It's me. I need a helo scramble to my position now. Roger that, Mr. President. We've already got a bird in the air. Sir, I'm not seeing any rooftop access at your location. Then blow the damn roof off. Fine. Get me to the atrium. We see you. You cleared your dodge. Go, go, go! Well, that's a load of shit. Kill every last one of those fuckers. I want them dead. Roach, our gear supply will dry the fuck up if war gets back to the rest of the council that we lost the president. We'll get him, ma'am. Fuckers aren't going anywhere but down. Ah, there we are. I wanted to thank you personally. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be at the mercy of those hyena assholes. We all owe a debt of gratitude to the Division and the sacrifices you've made to keep our country together. You're the doer of deeds, as Roosevelt once put it. Now it's my responsibility to direct those deeds toward an even greater good. As Agent Kelso suspected, 
Samples of a broad spectrum antiviral medication were sent to DC as a continuity of government measure. Let me be clear. We're talking about a way to combat viral infection. Polio, influenza, dengue fever, a common cold, green poison, not a vaccine, a cure. I know where the package is located, but to access it, I'll need the briefcase I was carrying aboard Air Force One. We believe the briefcase is with the true sons in the Capitol. Oh, then get it back. I don't care how you do it, just get it done. If we're going to get this country back on track, we have to be willing to do things that won't be popular. But I'm not here to woo voters. I'm here to get shit done. And I expect you are too. Oh yeah. We've got confirmation the outcast chief strategist is inside the Potomac Event Center. If we can capture him, we can interrogate him and figure out what they're planning. Kelso will set up a diversion. You go for the target. You'll need to cut off any escape routes and box this guy in before you can bag him. Got you. No, please don't hurt me! I'll do whatever you want! I'll tell you everything! All right, calm down. Stop embarrassing yourself. So we got him. That was some nice work, Agent. You should be proud of yourself. Together was the only way we could have done that. Come on in. Got another favor to ask you. About a month ago, some people that weren't happy with how I was handling things decided that they wanted to take their chances on their own. The outcasts have been harassing them, but we got reason to believe there's going to be a major attack. Now, I've sent people to provide security, but division agent make a big difference. Not just for the added firepower. You've done so much for us already. But maybe with your help, we can convince them to come back, give the settlement another chance. Before it's too late. After the Shade Network went down, we sent a team to see if they could bring the main node back online. They missed their last check, and then I can't reach them through Isaac. I'm worried they ran into trouble. The node is located in an old federal emergency shelter beneath Washington Circle. Connection established. Hello? Can you hear me? This is Manny Ortega with the division. Uh, Manny, thank God. It's Maya. I'm all that's left on our team. We couldn't get the note back online. I salvaged some equipment that will get the White House note connected to the national network, but before I could get back, those crazy fucks showed up. You gotta get me out of here. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, <clears throat> I'll head back as soon as the escort team arrives. With the equipment Maya recovered, we can restore the Shade Network across the entire country. Now I'll send a team to assist Maya and retrieve the Fallen for a proper burial. Your hard work has really improved our communications, security, and medical infrastructure. The Situation Room has a surveillance team, additional radio coordinators, and a staging area for patrols. We're running cleaner ops, managing resources better, and limiting collateral damage. The sick bay is starting to feel less like a field hospital and more like a clinic. With a new ICU and surgical suite, we can start healing people instead of having to prioritize who can be saved. The Shade Network is prepped to be reactivated nationally. Once it's up and running, we can communicate with agents across the country. I really don't know how to thank you for everything you've done. Without your help, I don't know that we would have survived, let alone thrived. Thank you, Agent. Keep up the good work.
Just a few moments ago, the Shade Network was restored nationwide. For division agents still struggling to hold this country together, and all of you fighting alongside them, or laboring day and night to support them from here, this is the turning point where desperate hope becomes bold conviction. You have already overcome impossible odds. Thanks to you, good people in this city are starting to feel safe again, and our enemies are running scared. I say it's time we kick them out of their castles to make it clear to those who stand with us and those who would stand against us that we will not hesitate. We will not compromise. We will never surrender. We will bear any sacrifice and secure victory at any cost. We've got the hyenas spooked. Their entire council is gathered at the stronghold. You sure we're ready to take down the council? They're scared. We've done a lot of damage already. We can neuter them for good. Taking out the hyena leadership leaves a faction in disarray. I'll send teams to start securing the supplies and the equipment those bastards were hoarding. And I'll let Odessa know. The theater settlement will be able to rest a little easier now. The outcasts built up their stronghold on the remains of the quarantine site where they were held. They've been here a long time and know the area intimately. We believe that capturing Roosevelt Island and neutralizing Emmeline Shaw, the outcast leader, will seriously weaken the faction and may even cause it to disintegrate. Without their leader and their stronghold, the outcasts are going to be much less of a problem than before. You know, what happened to them was horrific. But what they did was even worse. I just hope they're finally at peace. The Capitol building is our final target. It's ripe for the picking. Let's do this. We got two goals here. One is to kick the true sons out of their castle, just as President Ellis put it. But more important than that, we need to get back his briefcase, which has to be somewhere in that building. The case has an RFID tag that Isaac should be able to detect when you get close to it. Ellis says that briefcase is the key to retrieving samples of a medication that's supposed to cure viral infections. So we'd never have to worry about something like green poison ever again. That's a pretty big deal. We have the briefcase. Taking fire. We're out of here. The briefcase is secure. True Sons lost their stronghold. And General Ridgeway has been neutralized. Of all the toys in my map I've been waiting to knock over, that fucker was the one. A lot of good people from my old unit are dead because of him. Some even went over to his side. Set up a flare from the front steps to signal the all clear. Then come on home. Let's celebrate. Agent, I've got specializations available if you want to check them out. Who the hell is attacking us? Their markings match a government security contractor called Black Tusk. That's fucking ominous. Where's Ellis? 
Missing. No sign of a struggle. We need to get to the cure. I'll mark the location. Don't be reckless.